Here's the best way to create consistent characters with AI. Truly consistent characters are one of the biggest challenges, but also one of the most useful applications. And with this method I'm showing you, we'll learn how to put out characters in different settings, give them different facial expressions, but also keep their clothing exactly the same, which is super important for AI stories or AI films. I've tested out every method you can use to get consistent characters, and it's been quite the challenge up until now. But with new AI techniques, it really is possible to create truly consistent characters for your stories. The way we'll do this is first create a small dataset of an AI generated character, then train a custom flux model, which generates images of our characters in different settings and situations. We'll need to generate a character reference sheet, just like this one. I'm using OpenArt for this tutorial. There's a bunch of different features here. We'll go straight into the image creation tab to generate a character reference sheet. You can choose from a bunch of different AI image models. I'll be using the Flux Dev model, which is one of the highest quality image generators right now. To prompt for a character reference sheet, I'm using this prompt borrowed from Mick Mumpitz, who's got a lot of great AI guides. I'll link him in the description. The key part is asking for a character sheet, multiple views and angles, and the description of the character. In this case, an alien creature with pale red skin wearing a khaki pico. We can leave the other settings to their defaults although you can increase the number of images generated to get some more samples. We're looking for a character sheet that looks like this one, of the alien facing a couple different directions. Since these are all inside the same image, the characters will look the same. We'll need to download this, but first use the upscaler on the right to increase the resolution 2x. You can upscale this up to 4x, but it's not necessary for customizing the flux model. When it's done upscaling, find the new version from the versions menu. Sometimes it takes a while to show up, so wait a couple minutes and refresh the page if you need. Now let's download the character references. We'll need at least three images of the character, but ideally we'll have more than that. So I'll crop out the individual body poses using paint. To get extra data, I'll also zoom in and crop out the headshots of the alien. A tip to get more data is to flip the images horizontally. This is super common practice in training AI models. So from that single character sheet, I'm able to extract eight images for our data set. Let's go and train the custom character AI. Back inside OpenArt, hit this models tab, and then train your own model. There's a few options here. You can train an image style character face product. We're doing a character now. For the name, put anything like red alien. And in the description, keep it simple. I used alien creature with pale red skin. Then upload all those images we collected just now into the model trainer. This model trains super fast, it finishes within 10 minutes or so. I already have one done training over here, so let's use that. We'll create photos with our red alien in it. This is the same image generator interface as earlier. Although you'll notice the model has been changed to the private character we just trained. You can go in and switch between different character models you have, or revert back to using the default public models. You can leave most of these settings the way they are. You see the character description we used earlier right here. For the prompt, adding a camera angle, like a wide angle full body shot, and describe what the character is doing. I want him to be in Star Wars using the force, so he's pushing his palm out. And I find it helps a lot to describe the clothing in order to keep that consistent. So he's wearing a khaki pea coat, like in the character reference sheet. Adding a background like an underwater city and some style keywords, like Star Wars and muted cinematic colors. We'll also change the aspect ratio to a horizontal 16 to 9 landscape. Then let's hit create. This is what we get from the prompt and model. The character from the reference sheet really is copied into the image. Now some of them do have a longer or wider head, but if you generate a couple of different samples, you'll find one that matches the character. Now if we zoom in on the image, it doesn't actually give the full body shot I asked for in the prompt. It's just the upper body. If you want to get more of the entire body inside the photo, in the settings of the image generator, start by using a vertical 9 to 16 aspect ratio. Generating vertical images gives you more of the entire body. Then, to expand it to a wide photo, use this expand button in the menu bar. This is the image editor that lets you expand and make other types of changes. So, let's switch the aspect ratio to a horizontal 16 to 9 and then drag it to where the character needs to be inside the frame. Let's reduce the number of images generated, I only need two, and hit create. This fills in the borders of the image. If you like what you see, you can download the photo. It's always been a struggle to get non-human characters to look the same with AI, 
Right now, training or fine-tuning a custom flux model like this is what's going to get you the best results. If you're curious, this method works better than Midjourney's character feature, and you can get different poses and environments very effectively. Also, make sure you subscribe to see more detailed guides like this. I've got a couple extra tips for training a custom human character. Let's say we have this character sheet. We can extract a bunch of data images using the same cropping and flipping method as before. But one extra step is that we can also generate different facial expressions and head directions. So go back to the image editor and we'll drag a headshot on it here. Then select the face editor feature in the toolbar. You can edit the facial expression and also the direction she's facing. There's already a couple preset expressions, happy, surprised, things like that. Select one of them and open art automatically changes the expression on her face. You can even customize the direction she's facing with these sliders down here. This is a great tool for getting some extra data. When you're done, hit the save button and you'll find the new edited headshot in the create tab to download. Again, when it comes to prompting for the custom trained models, it's really important to prompt for the same clothing you used in the character reference sheet in order to keep that part consistent. I animated these AI videos with the new Minimax generator and I'm loving the results. What's great is that you can even generate shots of the character from the side or from behind in poses completely different from anything you have in the training data and the AI gets it right. So OpenR is free to try, you get free credits when you sign up, although you do need a paid plan if you want to train a custom AI model. I'll put all the links in the description. A Jedi's life is one of duty, balance, and sacrifice. They train in the ways of the Force, learning to wield lightsabers and control their emotions. They serve as peacekeepers, traveling across the galaxy to mediate conflicts and protect the innocent. But they all face danger and ultimately sacrifice their lives for peace and justice. If you want to learn how to turn your AI character into incredible video animations, go and watch this tutorial right here.